Hello and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and we're playing some, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2! <laughs> Having a bit of a herp a derp a derp a derpin. Uh, there we go. Ah, tits. Sometimes it'll open up. Whoa! Uh -oh. Don't equip that gun! That gun kills people, Raiden! We're not here to kill people. We're here to make them see sense. <laughs> oh, this is gonna end well. Please don't let Fortune's Cape be messed up. Please don't let Fortune's Cape be messed up. Please don't let Fortune's Cape be messed up like ocelots. <laughs> Please? It doesn't look like it's messed up. Okay, cool. I was scared that, because I remember that Fortune had a cape, or had like a jacket cape. I was scared it was going to be screwed up. <laughs> like ocelots. Hi Fortune, how you doing? God, I love her theme. What the hell is that? Don't worry about it. Come, put me out of my misery. Nothing will hit her. You're gonna see the one they call fortune. You're gonna hit the president, like bro. Be they should know the second that it starts arc, like bullets start arcing away like that, that they can hit the president, which seems like the opposite of what they want. <laughs> I don't let them take the president. Why would you stand in the open like that, bro? Get undercover. Like, <laughs> dude. Grenades. Ha! <laughs> A dud. Or her special power made it so it didn't go boom. You try another grenade. No? I. Today is another bad day. Okay. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Rip. <laughs> well, they're all dead. Rip the Marines. Drop your gun, bro. Dude could probably hold on if he dropped his gun. But no, hold on to gun for dear life. Okay. Also, that last one might have sur might have survived because of the way surface tension works in the water. Depending on how that uh, depending on entirely on how that thing fell. Killed the bird. Rude. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Fortune like seagulls. <laughs> Why are they only falling out of the sky now? Like, they're fine and now they're all dying. I don't think that has anything to do with um, her power or the electromagnetic pulse from the gun. She's just the raven standing. <laughs> Colonel. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. Just a I little. See. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. 
Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Bullshit! Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Can the president you know wait? I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Oh, good is thing I'm between shot, Strut too? B and C. What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Yeah, okay, right. snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. Because it's not! To stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you <laughs> yeah, <too okay>. done? <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> You're needed on Strut C. <laughs> Tone of voice watch. Also, it is kind of telling that Raiden was able to notice immediately that something was fucked <laughs> with this situation. Like, something is not right with this whole situation. Strut C Dining Hall. I. Mm. <laughs> okay. I didn't touch anything, but alright. If I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. <laughs> you can tell that I played this game that even though I haven't really played it in literal years, still remembering. Again, stop equipping that gun. That's the death gun. We don't use the death gun. <laughs> don't use the death gun. Freeze! Don't shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of them. Oh shit, Snake Snake! <laughs> I mean, Don't not go Snake. Don't pointing that thing everywhere, kid. So that's the one who told Meryl to shoot. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Steelman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. Okay. <laughs> so you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? <laughs> because the five hours later, cutscenes. <laughs> the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. Of course, his name's he Fat Man. He an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. How did he get the materials? And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. 
Yeah, Hello, Snake Commander, Snake. With another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any snake, experience snake. with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. It's a code name, bruh. Any other survivors? <laughs> there was also an engineer with me. An engineer? Oh. What is the name of this engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. Is they his told name? Me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Otacon? Why would he take a civilian along? <laughs> Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. <laughs> I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the seals. Hey, look, EOD obvious squad. Otacon is obvious. No, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. I'll figure Hold it out. A sec. Off to confer with the CO again. <laughs> Snake keeps giving him so much shit. And Glad yes, I'm just going to keep calling him Snake. Safe. I'm not going to call him Pliskin. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Don't argue, bro. Jack, we got shit me. to do. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. I don't trust you. You haven't had bomb disposal <laughs> training per se in VR. I've played this game. But you're more than you. capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? I feel like There's Snake's no listening in on my stuff. So much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. Where'd you get that? <laughs> this is a C4 bomb. Where'd you get that, bruh? It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. That if doesn't make any power, sense, but okay. I recommend complete disposal, but this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about facts. You know... Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with If you freeze it. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize then ionized just gas emitted by C4s. Take the detonator the off what? at that point. <laughs> In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's mm -hmm. scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? Mm. I know Fat Man well. You sure about that, Stillman? I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Okay. <laughs> right. All I taught him was skills. 
And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Again, if you froze the bomb and it's deactivated at that point, Let's pull the detonator off. That sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? Mm -hmm. That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, right in idle animation. Sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in strut C as well. Here? Obviously. I mean, you put them in every strut. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember I where they the all are. the structure of this facility. <laughs> and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. Also, where I the bombs are change depending sequences. on the difficulty. From what I remember. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Okay. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. You sure about that? Or did he know that you would know that and he did something else? I mean, that's exactly what happens, but whatever. <laughs> Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. Take this. Keeps calling him kid. <laughs> Gives me a chuckle. A card! What's this? Security card issued to shell personnel. Why wouldn't the they have access to the biggest security shell clearance. card? The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors for security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. Why wouldn't they have access to do that before they came here? We'll they should have, have access the security elsewhere to the files up. to make cards. Let's get going. Right. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. <laughs> anymore? <laughs> Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. See? Who dares? He knows. Wins. He knows something more is if gonna be up. Comes up let he me just know. hasn't told them yet. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Okay. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. Nope. I don't snake. think he's a navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Dun dun dun. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. I don't actually know if that's true. Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Snake's been around. <laughs> Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I mean, true. He hasn't said anything about why he's here. I'm... He's suspicious. Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll just stay 
it in the cupboard. <laughs> I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. What kind of pantry locks from the inside? Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. I... Again! What kind of pantry has a... In the pantry lock? Being out of the pantry lock. <laughs> so you're not gonna lock it from the inside, you lock it from the outside. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> now I wanna break the watermelons, okay. Now, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna see how much of this I can remember, okay? Alright, you guys. I'm gonna turn off the sensor. Okay. Mostly because I want to see how many of these I can remember just for shits and giggles. Okay, I already know that this one's here. Looking good, riding. <laughs> Raiden here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <laughs> the way he delivers his lines makes like me him. chuckle. Anything wrong? <laughs> Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition. How has he already gotten mean? there? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Dep, 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 definitely that. Also, how could Pliskin have called in other locations, plural, when I'm literally in the same building that the cutscene was in? There's no way he could have gotten to Shell 2 already. <laughs> Physically impossible for him to have gotten to Shell 2 already and found C4. See? He's right there! <laughs> okay, Snake. Wait a minute, how did that... Skipping that, because I didn't want to get caught. Granted, I don't think he can get caught during the cutscene portion, but still. A surveillance camera? <laughs> Oh dear. Um. Oh fuck. Um. I need to get one more strut over. Nothing here. I need to get one more strut over. We'll come back to this one. I'm pretty sure I remember where all of the bombs are. But. It's either E or F is the one that has the, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, either E or F is the one that has the M9. I don't like this. I'm gonna go the other way. We're gonna take a long way. <laughs> It'll be fine. I just don't like not having a my gun. There we go. Hi. I'm gonna go get my gun. We'll see you when we get to Strut F. Cause I think it's in Strut F. At some point, I got given an M9. <laughs> When I wasn't paying attention. Or maybe I just picked it up. Well, I've got an M9. There's that at least. I wasn't paying attention and picked it up. I have three more alerts to my name, but at least I have a goddamn tranquilizer. But 
I don't know. Aha. There's one dude. Okay. So I think I know where all the stuff is here. I think. Hey, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna stash your body. If you don't mind. We're coming into the corner. <laughs> I also had to restart at one point because I accidentally killed someone. I accidentally knocked somebody over a railing. <laughs> cool, have fun, bro. See if I remember correctly. There's somebody there. No. Nobody's here. But now you're knocked out. <laughs> okay, if I remember correctly. Bomb. <laughs> Haven't had to look at the thing yet. Excellent. Here we go, bomb number two. Okay. Now I think after all that kerfuffle, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. <laughs> My name is Miss Carlotina Jr. and I have been playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. I'll see you all in the next video.